Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and you're once again watching to the theme park dude. In today's video I share brand new information revealed by Universe Orlando Resort regarding tickets for their all new theme park Epic Universe, which is now confirmed to officially open on May 22nd of 2025. Before I begin to meet a lot of you could hit that subscribe button as well as the like button to support the channel. Now off to the video. Universe Orlando recently announced the grand opening of their all new highly anticipated theme park Epic Universe. Guests can expect the park to officially open its gates on May 22nd of 2025. It is also confirmed that the all-new luxury Lowe's Helios Grand Hotel will open the same day, which is located adjacent to the park. Along with this new information, Universal has given their first announcement on tickets for this park. As of now, no single-day tickets are available for regular guests, but Universal says to stay tuned as they will be available in the future. Universal did announce, though, that a three-day vacation package, including one day at Epic Universe and reservations for the Helios Grand Hotel, will be on sale as the day I'm recording this, October 22nd of 2024, so they're already available by the time that this video is out. Universal Orlando also announced that current annual pass holders will be able to purchase single-day dated tickets on October 24th, which if you're watching this today, the video came out, that is tomorrow morning, so stay tuned. The press release states the countdown to Epic Universe has officially begun. Universal Orlando Resort's highly anticipated fourth theme park, because they count Volcano Bay as a theme park, Universal Epic Universe will officially open on May 22nd, 2025. Unlocking the portals to five astounding worlds that will bring to life extraordinary adventures that go beyond guests' wildest imaginations. Guests can begin planning on an epic 2025 vacation to Universal Orlando to experience the entire destination as the first phase of ticket products and packages that include access to Universal Epic Universe will go on sale. So going back to the ticket package deal, including one day at Epic Universe, available for all guests to purchase, the one key thing about this package, though, is it requires guests to purchase admission to all three Universal theme parks, with only one day allowed for admission to Epic Universe. So for locals or for people that are pass holders, it's very hard for me to at least understand why a lot of people are purchasing this. I guess just to guarantee that they can get access on opening day, because this Thursday, which if you're watching this day, it's the video is coming out tomorrow, is going to be chaos, but I'm getting up at 5 a.m., so I'm going to try my best to get it, but who knows. As of now, this is the only way non-pass holders can get a ticket to the new park. But like I mentioned earlier, Universal has confirmed more ticket offerings, including single-day tickets, will be available for all guests leading up to the park's opening. It's just that probably opening day and the initial opening week will be pretty much just sold out with just pass holders and then this ticket package deal that they're also offering. The press release for this package says a variety of multi-day tickets and vacation packages that include three, four, or five days of admission to Universal's theme parks, including one day admission to Epic Universe. The three-day package for one park per day starts at $117. So times that by three, because it's per day, and you get roughly $400, including tax. So that's how much of this first package will roughly be. Now, the others, there's for four and five days, which are an extra couple hundred bucks each. And they all have options where you can do park hopping or you can add Volcano Bay for an extra day. So it's there's a lot of different things that you can customize if you are planning a big trip. Like if you're from out of country or out of state and you want to have a big trip next year, then this is definitely the way to go. It's just keep in mind, you only get one day for Epic Universe. But still seems like a cool deal and you do save a lot of money this way. So if you're okay with just doing one day at Epic Universe... Maybe try this three-day package deal, and if you want to stay for a week, get two of those, and then you get two days at Epic Universe. As for the other ticket options that are soon to be available, is single-day tickets for annual pass holders. Not much is known about these at the time of recording, other than they will be available on October 24th of 2024. So, Universal does say annual pass holders have the exclusive opportunity to purchase single-day tickets to Universal Epic Universe before they go on sale to the general public. Pass holders can take advantage of this priority opportunity beginning Thursday, October 24th. Now, the Helios Grand Hotel reservations came out this morning, and I did manage to secure one. So that is something that I plan to do. I'm very excited for that. I'm going on May 26th, which is Memorial Day. So not opening day, but four days later, which I think is okay because it will give the hotel time to settle in. And also, I plan to be at the park opening day and the second day and hopefully the third day as well. So, you know, if I have to do that while staying at the hotel, I'm not going to be able to experience the hotel or the park fully. So I think dedicating all my time to the park for those days and then dedicating all my time to the hotel for this day is going to work out a lot better for content wise because then I can do vlogs of both. I can do walkthroughs. I can do, you know, questions and it's just like a lot of cool stuff I can do. 
when um, they're separated like that. Because I feel like if I went to Grand Helios, you know, on opening night, it'd be awesome and great and a great experience. And I'm super, you know, jealous of all of y'all that got to do that. But it's also an extra couple hundred bucks. Plus, you have to check in earlier in the day, which means you're missing some of that park time if you plan to go to Epic Universe opening day. So that's just something to keep in mind. This seems like a very cool um, thing to be a part of because this is my first ever time really experiencing a grand opening for a theme park. It's the first time I think a lot of people have because it's really the first new full theme park since Islands of Adventure opened in 1999, at least for Central Florida. So this is very exciting. This is huge. Um, I am so excited. I will be getting up, like I said, at like 5 a.m. on Thursday, which is tomorrow if you guys are watching this day that came out, to try to get myself an opening day ticket. We'll see because the tickets for the hotel went live at 6.30, but some third-party ticket holders got the link early to be able to purchase, and they were able to purchase as early as like 5.45 a.m. So I'm going to get about 5, 5.15 just to be safe. But yeah, no, comment down below if you guys are excited to experience Epic Universe and if you plan on getting one of these ticket options or holding it out until more options become available. And also, it has been confirmed that soft openings will be available for pass holders and team members. So that is just something to stay tuned for. I'm curious how they roll that out since it's a full theme park. I don't know if they're going to like charge you maybe like 50, 60 bucks for like a test day or something. I don't know, but I'm super excited whenever those come out as well. And I'll be sure to share it with all of you on either here or my X page. Thanks again for seeing this end of the video. And make sure to um, leave a massive like and subscribe for future theme park content. Thanks again for watching and have a great day, everyone. See ya. Bye.